We're going to start today's class in a standing position by stepping into the band. So just take the band around both legs, stepping in and bringing it up just above the knees, resting on your thighs. We're going to take the legs a little wider than hip distance apart and turn the toes out slightly. Coming into our squats, so make sure that core is nice and strong. You're going to sit your bottom back like you're sitting on a chair, reach the arms forward, sit down low, Peek down, make sure your knees are behind your toes and they're tracking over the second toe. Lift up and lengthen and as you do, just slightly tuck the pelvis, squeeze your glutes and come into a nice tall neutral position. Sitting back and then squeezing back up. Good, keeping the band in the same position just above the knees. Keep pressing the knees out to make sure they track over those second toes. Okay, we're gonna to have to work against that resistance and keep the knees tracking. So it's great for your knee stability by working those external rotators. Good, let's do 12 more like this. 11, just try lifting up your toes as well. You should be able to lift your toes off the ground. The weight is back in the heels. Good, seven, and six, keep that navel drawn in towards your spine. Five, and four, shoulders down, neck nice and long. Three, two, now hold this last one down, sitting back where you feel comfortable. A little tiny pulses here, lifting up and down. Good, three, and four. Sit right back like you're sitting back on a chair. Good, keep it down nice and low, and keep pressing out into that bend. Turn the knees out. Nine, eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, two. We're staying down nice and low and holding here. Now, externally rotate from the hip, press that into your bend, butterfly the knees, come back to your original position. It's just an inch or two, it's a small movement, holding that squat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, just ten more. Squeeze every time. Press. Eight, nice controlled movements. Slow, evenly paced. Press out five, four, three, two. Hold here. Lift one heel off the ground. So you're just on the pads of the toes, the balls of the feet. Pulse it down. Good. Pulsing down nice and low. Keep it in that squat. Keep that knee tracking over the toe. Good, keep it down, we're almost there. Five, four, keep the navel drawn into the spine, keep your back nice and long. Good, and then place the heel down, come straight over to the other side, keep pulsing, lifting that heel. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, just ten more. Nine, eight, seven, and six, five, Four, three, two, and one. And stand up nice and tall, pressing that heel back down into the ground. We're now going to bring our feet back into the center. Feet are underneath your hips. We're sitting down nice and low, back into that squat, sitting back towards your chair. Now shift your weight slightly over towards your right. The right is the stabilizing leg. Your left foot is going to tap out to the side, back to the center, and then back behind you. Back to the center, alternating. Two, and back. Three, and back. Keep your stability and keep your balance by keeping the straw nice, the core nice and strong. The straw nice and calm. Either one. <laughs> press and press. Good, reaching out to the side, back in. Nine, and 10. Let's do 10 more like this. 10, and back. Nine, and eight, seven, and six, just five more, keep it going, and four, good, three, two, last one, now reach it out to the side and hold, we're just going to stay down in this nice squat position, lift to the side, two, three, little pulses, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, just ten more lifts, squeeze. Nine, eight, seven, keep your stability and your control. Good, keeping that balance. Three, two, 
and one, slide it back in, lift up nice and tall. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So just coming down nice and low into that squat, abs are tight, shoulders nice and open, just tap it out to the side and then back. Two and back. Good, just nice quick taps, focusing on our balance and stability here, using the stabilizing muscles in that supporting leg. Reach. And five, six, seven, drawing the navel into the spine. Eight, keep the shoulders down and away from the ears. And 10, just 10 more. Reach, nine, and reach. Eight to go, seven, and six. Keep that collarbone nice and wide, just five more. And four, three to go, two, last one, reach to the back, reach out to the side and hold. Now focus on your stability here, just pulsing up to the side. Good, three, correcting your balance every time. Press, press, good. It's okay to be a little bit wobbly. As long as you correct yourself, you're using those deep stabilizing muscles in the knee, the ankle, the hip, working all those muscles that we focus on in Pilates. Good, squeeze. Seven, six, and five, four more. Three, two, and one. Slide it back in, lift up nice and tall. We're now going to slide our band down towards our ankles just above the ankle joint, and we're going to step all the way over to one side of the mat. Now what we're going to do from here is nice and upright, abs pulled in tight, two steps to the side. Two, make them big, and two, and one. Along the length of your mat, good, two, and one. Nice big steps, working those nice lateral part of the legs, external rotators, working the glutes. Good, four, and back, five, and back, good, we're halfway there, five to go. Good, starting to feel those legs fire up. And four, and back. Three to go, three, and back. Good, really starting to feel it now, two. Across, and back, and one last time, and back to the other side. Now come back to the center of your mat. We're going to really pull in our core here, lengthen up nice and tall, reach one leg to the back, focus on something in the distance to keep your balance and push that leg back. Two, three, fire up the hamstrings and the glutes. Good, pull in through the core, reach. Eight, nine, 10, just 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Change sides, facing the other way. Hips nice and centered, abs pulled in. Reach, two, three, four, five. Focus on that glute, squeeze every time. Nine, 10, just 10 more, 10. Nine, eight, seven, and six, five more, four, three, two, and one. One more round of each. Send to the side of your mat, nice and tall, abs pulled in. Step, 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 and step. Good, keep it moving the whole time, no stopping in between. Reach, 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 and reach. Seven to go, up and down. Keep it going, feel those legs on fire. Step, step, and step. Five more, and five. Good, four to go, and reach. Three, and tap. Just two more, and tap. One last time, and all the way back. Now we're gonna to come to the back to the center, this time reaching out to the side. So get your balance, abs pulled in, and reach out. Two, so not a big range of motion here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, just 10 more. Really working those external rotators, stabilizing the pelvis, stabilizing the hip. Seven to go, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, and one. Now, let's change sides. Shifting your weight over to the side, lengthen up, abs in, squeeze. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's do 10 more, 10, nine, eight, Shoulders down, neck nice and long. Five more, five and four, three, two and one and come back to the center. Now we're finished with our standing work. We're going to come down to the floor. Mm -hmm. 